Welcome back to Central Valley Talk, where we celebrate what's good about Fresno, not just Fresno, the whole valley, Fresno, Clovis, Kingsburg, Madera, Selma, uh, Oakhurst, uh, Auberry, uh, what's that little town you, your store's in up there? In North Fork. North Fork, we yeah. celebrate North Fork too. We started Central Valley Talk because people kept saying there's nothing to do in Fresno. Well, it turns out there is something to do in Fresno all the time. And if we're gonna have nice things happen in Fresno, we have to show up and support things. There's something come up. By the way, our guest is Hansel Kern from Kern Family Farm up in North Fork. Yeah, and Thank you. Uh, he helps uh, put on this thing every year called the Organic Stone Fruit Jubilee and Small Farm Expo. That's right. It's coming up when? June? It's coming up June 22nd. Uh, that's yeah. a Saturday? It's a Saturday from 4 to 7.30 yeah. in the evening. And uh -huh. talk about nothing to do in Fresno. It's being held in the coolest place in the valley, uh, the town of Kingsburg. It is. Um, it's at a really nice site, the Kingsburg Historical Park. Mm -hmm. A lot of shade trees, green grass, air-conditioned meeting room for keynote speakers. Uh, and it's got a little stage. We're going to have live music there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a really nice setting. There's all kinds of barns with antique farm equipment, so it's yeah. very appropriate for what we're doing. So if it gets too hot, there's an uh, air condition area to step there in is. for a bit. There is. But I don't think it's going to be too hot because there's a lot of shade out there. Yeah. And, uh, and green grass yeah. and, yeah, good shade trees. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, t I got some uh, examples. <laughs> what is this thing, uh, Hansel? Is that the peach, I think? There you go. <laughs> and also we had, what was the other one you said? The apricot. Uh, lost the apricot. I don't know where it went to. There it is, apricot. <laughs> there you go. These are stone fruit. Yes. And that means there's a big old chunky there's seed There's a in nice them. pit in the middle a of them. A pit in the middle. That's right. And Plums, uh, apricots, peaches, nectarines, and a lot of crossbreeds, apriums and pluots. And mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of different. So these people will be able to go out and buy these fruits. Yes. The main, the real the mission of it is that we get folks to meet the farmers. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have at least, a, I don't know, 10 or so organic stone fruit farmers and some vegetable farmers. And you can taste up to probably 50 different varieties. You'll be able to sample them. You can sample them right there on the spot and choose the variety that you want. And then you pay one little price for a bag of fruit and mm -hmm. you take that fruit home. Okay. Now, yeah. by the way, it costs a couple bucks to get in, I think. 10 it does, it costs 10 bucks. And kids are free. Kids are free. And our family hosts a little kids of crafts village. So mm -hmm. there's art and projects for them to do there. Uh, it's a it's a really family friendly event, and we're really excited to put it off. You may or may not know this, but if you're on EBT, uh -huh. if you're on EBT, you know what that is. You get to go in for free. Oh yeah, I looked okay. up and saw it on your website. <laughs> I told you I'm going to read the website this year before you come. That's great. Yeah, so for EBT, you could come and go in free and uh, bring the kids. Bring the kids. So this is something very special, and. We should be celebrating stone fruit. We should have a special yes. event like this. Yes, and it's all about organic, you know, and being good organic. stewards to the land and supporting farmers that take the trouble and time to really be good to their soil. You know, that's tell great. me what organic means. So organic is basically means that we're farming as close to nature as we can. We're not applying any pesticides, any chemicals, any herbicides uh, through the whole chain of the growing process. Mm -hmm. A lot of organic farmers in the orchards will, uh, they don't even plow the center of the orchard. They'll let cover crops and other mm -hmm. native plants grow in there. Is that a newer development? It is more, yeah. No, I mean, some of these folks have been doing this for quite a few years, but it's becoming more new on, in our consciousness mm -hmm. about how to farm mm -hmm. and not have bare soil. Now, will all the fruit there be from our area? Yeah, it's all, we call it the kind of the golden triangle of the Kingsburg, Sanger, mm -hmm. you know, towards Clovis a little bit even. Uh, so it's all right. They're local. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I think this is one of the bands that's going to be there. There'll be music. Uh, right for Pickin' is the band. Yeah, Right for Pickin'. And we also have the Raging Grannies that's going to open for them. And they, uh, on their little blurb, they say, being a good singer or being a grandmother are not prerequisites for being a Raging Granny. <laughs> so <laughs> being a good their singer. heart is into the next generations. And that's they sing good. songs about the welfare of our future mm -hmm. generations. Now, by the way... Um, I know we're here to talk about the Organic Stone Fruit Jubilee, which is June 22nd, Saturday, and uh, in Kingsburg. But also, you have a little farm. I just want to mention it. Yeah. Up yeah. in uh, North Fork We have area. the Kern Family Farm. And we're you have a uh, little store in North Fork. That's right. It's called yeah. the Gnarly Carrot. Gnarly Carrot. We're eight years old this year. Wow. So the farm has been going since 1999. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just really pleased. Our, our local community has been very supportive of us. It's North Fork's a sleepy little town. and. And we're doing okay. You know, we're paying the bills, and we've got a lot of great supporters That's for our, our little operation. 
wow. our family farm. My oldest, uh, or my uh, daughter and son, the younger daughter and son are both part of our mm -hmm. LLC, and so we're a family business. Nice. It's yeah, a real family farm, organic of course. Organic, certified organic. organic, and my son has gone no till as of about five no years till. ago, so we actually don't till either. Let me ask you this: If I go into the grocery store and it says organic, what's that going to mean in the grocery store? Depends on which grocery store you go yeah. into. <laughs> I thought maybe there's a law de defining. Yeah, I use mean, that word. You have to. The do US, you, there is, and the USDA has there's certifying agencies. There's the federal agency, and there's CCOF, which is in California. And it's you get inspected by inspectors, and when it gets a little shaky for me is when it's a giant mega farm mm -hmm. going organic, and they're going that way because the public is catching on to organic, and people are concerned about their health and their welfare and their kids, and so organic is becoming more and more popular. It's growing pretty fast, and so some, you know, not so sincere businesses might be getting into it because they see the dollars, yeah. but. If, Going to a small event, supporting your farmer's markets, I don't care if it's the vineyard here on Blackstone or over at Kaiser or Clovis, you know, there's a lot of little farmer's markets and that is when you get to look the farmer in the eye and talk to them about yeah. their practices. Right. As you know, I have a giant, giant tortoise and yeah. uh, he has to eat greens and lettuces and grasses all the time and I won't buy stuff from the grocery store because I don't know. Right. I don't know what's on right. there. So. There's a lot of pesticides used yeah. in our produce. and. So that's why but not in organic, organic though. Not in organic. Organic that's stone right. fruit. Come and get the organic stuff. What else do you want our viewers to know about? Well, I got the, a couple uh, of things there on our program. We're going to have um, a couple of speakers. African American Farmers of mm -hmm. California is going to be represented. They're going to be a keynote speech, and uh, they're a wonderful organization that's you know helping to preserve the rich tradition of Black farmers mm -hmm. here in California. And then the Allensworth Progressive Association, which is a groundbreaking farmer training program. Mm -hmm. It opens the doors for women and veterans and BIPOC farmers, and they're kind of a new thing and really uh, unusual. So there are going to be a couple of great, interesting uh, talks to uh, go to during the course of the day. Uh, there's going to be vendors out there, uh, information booths, different organizations are going to be there, and it's just a great family event. A lot of we're going to have a lot of food trucks there. There's going to be our store is going to provide uh, fruit sickles, frozen fresh fruit sickles from the farmers. And, uh, you know, it's just three and a half hours of just great time to have family time and learn four, a little four more till about. Four till 730. Till 730. Four o'clock till 730. Now, That's right. let me ask this. Are you doing this all by yourself or do you need some help? We, yeah, we would love volunteers. <laughs> um, Fruitjubilee.com is our website. You can buy tickets there and you can volunteer. And we're always short of volunteers. I bet. So it's a constant struggle. So I really heartily invite everyone to uh, Please come on down and be a part of it. You know, our family is a big part of it, and there's we have a great committee, but you know, there's only so many of us, and there's a lot of work to do. And the day of, we've in these events in the past, we've had as many as 800 people. You know, yeah. and that's a bunch of it's folks busy, to watch yeah. over. We need to have people that'll be willing to cut fruit, people that uh, will sell tickets. Mm -hmm. You know, for selling the bags for uh, the uh, fruit for. Okay. And helping us in the kids' village if you like right. to hang out with kids and help them draw and do artwork and stuff. So, very good. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to run this every day, 100 times a day between now and the Love it. Seconds. It's coming up soon. So we really heartily invite everybody. Yeah, Saturday, June 22nd, 4 o'clock, it starts till 7, 7 30 or so. Yep. 7:30. And it's in Kingsburg. And, uh, right on Sierra Street. Uh, I, mean, I think you have the address yeah, up there. The yeah. address is up there. On Sierra Street. Yeah. All right. Beautiful spot. Last thoughts. We invite you heartily to come out. It's a great time, and uh, you get to meet some wonderful family farms. Some of them are three, four, five generation farmers. So, like I say, though, great experience. We want we need good things going on in our community. People say there's nothing to do around here, and there is, but we can't do it if people don't show up. That's right. People don't come out and attend. People come out and volunteer. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you're doing participation. It. Participation. Please come out. We uh, heartily invite you. I think we've had someone on the show every year since it started. What eight yeah. years ago? I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We will be back uh, with more Central Valley Talk. And I'll see you out at the fruit, uh, <laughs> let me say it, Organic Stone Fruit Jubilee and Small Farm Expo. We'll see you then on June 22nd. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it.